All right. Coping with being single. Oh, oh I already like this right here. Hey, Billy, master of fuckets. Um, I've been single my entire life. I'm into my later 20s and still haven't found any lady that I really hit it off with. I've struggled with being single for a long time, but have been working through it. I'm okay with it, but I still have my dark moments. My question to you is when you were single for all those years, did you ever get lonely or feel alone? Uh, Did you ever think you'd be single forever? What helped you to endure through those times and how did you cope with it? Yes to all of that. Yep. As I figured some things out, I've been doing bucket list types of stuff that helps me get through it. Yeah, dude, that's a great thing to do when you're single. Go do all that shit you want to do. Because, uh, you know, you meet somebody else, you, uh, you know, you might not have the time. This person says, I've gone to see some of my favorite bands play live. I've traveled a little, and I've been working towards finding a career path that I really enjoy. So I believe I'm doing some good things, but I still have my days when I suffer through it a little. Uh, but I've learned to sit in that pain for a bit and find good things. Uh, saying something dumb at work. Oh, that's the next one. I thought that was a guy signing off or the woman, whoever the fuck this is. Um, all right. My question to you is you've been single all those years. Did you ever get lonely or feel alone? Here's the thing. I was never lonely for the first, I don't know how many years of my life until I had a girlfriend and then lost my girlfriend. And then after that, that's the first time I felt like, oh, I don't have a chick. It's weird. I didn't have my first serious girlfriend until I was like 23, something like that, 22, 23 years old. So I was fine with being single, and that thing lasted like, I don't know, like eight, nine months, and uh, I ended up breaking up with her, and that was right before I started doing stand-up, and um, I remember the first six weeks of being like, fuck, how long is it going to take for me to get over this person, and... um, it's weird, man. Like getting over a person, it's like it's like quitting the booze. It's a habit. They're a habit. You know what I mean? Oh, I always call them at this time. Then you, you got to fill up those fucking times. But you just can't fill them up. You kind of got to go through the morning of them not being there anymore. And then you start filling them up with other stuff. But like, dude, I think travel, seeing bands and everything. The great thing is, dude, <clears throat> the fact that you're, or lady, the fact that you're single and you feel alone is a very healthy thing. You know what I mean? Now, if you were totally fucking single and you didn't feel lonely at all, well, I guess maybe, you know, maybe you're just a fucking someone who doesn't want to be with anybody. That could also be good. As long as you're not out killing people. You know what I mean? As long as you don't feel the need to hunt. As long as you're not feeling that. And as long as you're all right with whatever it is you're doing, then um, you should be fine. Dude, you're in your fucking late 20s, dude. Trust me. Someday you're going to be married. You're going to have a fucking kid coming like I got right now. And you all of a sudden, all your drum videos, you're thinking, I'm going to I got to get rid of those. I got to get rid of all this shit. I got to get rid of all of this stuff. And there's this feeling that I'm having right now. Of, Will I ever play drums again? But fortunately, I married the coolest woman ever. So I just was able to sit down with her. This, this might help you if you're afraid to get in a relationship because you feel like you're going to lose all of this stuff. You just let the person you're with know what's important. I already said to my wife, I said, listen, here's the deal. Like once a week, okay, you pick a day once a week when this kid is not sleeping through the night and you can just go somewhere, get a massage or just go someplace and fucking sleep. Or I'll take the kid and go drive around. I'll let you sleep for fucking hours and hours, whatever the hell it is. Okay. All you got to do is let me keep playing drums, taking drum lessons and that shit. That'll be my spa thing because I don't really need to sleep because I'm a fucking lunatic And also, I'll still get to do the road twice a month. And, you know, I'll use that time to sleep. I'll do my shows at night, and then I'll go right to the hotel, and I will sleep till the fucking cats come home, the cows come, whatever the fucking animal is. And then I'll come back recharged. You know what I mean? But we we make sure that we kind of work that stuff out with each other. So um, if you're afraid to get in a relationship, just know that there's uh, cool people out there. As long as you, uh, I don't know. Yeah, you never hear me say this, but women in general are pretty cool if you just tell them what the fucking deal is. Um, but I have issues with women. So even as I said that, just picturing how many women just went like, oh, my God, yes. That, like that annoyed me, even though they're agreeing with me. It's weird. I got a lot of fucking issues. So um, 
yeah, I definitely fe- I felt like I was never going to meet the one. I felt like there was something wrong with me and all of this type of shit. Just know this. Every one of your friends that's in a relationship is secretly envious of you, even if they're with the right person. That's how much fucking work it is. You know, every once in a while, you know, I look at fucking, um, you know, I'll look at a I'll look at a playboy like Joe DeRosa and I'll be like, God damn it, man. What the fuck did he's got? He's, you know, he's, he's, he's living the life, you know? But then, you know, you come home and your wife makes some fucking cookies. You're like, oh, this is pretty cool, too. All right. Saying something dumb at work. So what I'm saying to this person, you, you, you're fine, dude. You're in your late 20s. Um, the same way that you have goals with um, your career and bucket list stuff, you, have, you should have some goals about the kind of person that you want to be with, like... Uh, Women after actually do shit like that. Women actually sit down and think about the kind of guys don't do that. We just sort of ping pong around. I'll stick my fucking dick in that. You know, we're idiots. Um, but if you actually, you know, get a little Bill Belichick, you know, see what's missing, you know, from your half. See what you're looking for. What do you want? You know, do you want a woman that wants kids? Do you want a woman that can cook? Are you traditional? Do you want a career woman? Like, what do you want? You know, I can tell you right now, if you want a woman that can cook, we'll actually sit down and cook. Woo! I'll tell you right now. That's like, uh, I don't know. You know, like every once every, I don't know how many years they have, they have that, that 1983 draft. Like, women do not, fu- women's do not be cooking anymore. All this feminism shit. It's really a sad thing, but men have, you know, it's our fault because we, we, we didn't put a value on it. Christ, I'm out there busting my ass. You're in here pickling cucumbers, right? We just gave them shit. Making a meal for somebody is one of the nicest things you could ever do, you know? But what happened, huh? We talked shit. We gave them, we didn't give them a fucking respect. Them. Now look at them. They don't want to cook or be mothers. They're out there running around willy-nilly wearing pantsuits, running in, running for president of the United States. I mean, that, that that's a mad job. <laughs> kidding you know the funniest fucking thing ever is how sick you have to be to want to be president the fact that hillary clinton is depressed right now that she didn't get a job where she was gonna have to put her head in the pillow every night knowing she just made a decision that bombs were just dropped and possibly landed on somebody's baby and she she's she's depressed that she didn't get that fucking job it's unbelievable what do you think her pajamas look like she definitely has the fucking guy ones right like the flannel ones <laughs> Wearing the pantsuits. Um, I like the pantsuits. I don't know why everybody gave a shit about it. I always like Rhoda, you know? Rhoda, Mary Tyler Moore. They fucking filled those things out, you know, walking around with your little bunsies up against that rayon. All right, say something dumb at work. Saying something dumb at work. Okay, what do we got here? Um, ah, fuck. You guys mind if I just do the last bit of... You know what? That's a cunty move. I'll read this and then... 